Walking belts can fray for several reasons. Sometimes it's just a small burring of the edge because of the age of the belt. Some treadmill belts do it more than others. And um, the, the worst kind, or the second level of that, is generally related to a walking belt coming off track and sliding off one end of the roller and actually digging into the, the frame or plastic molding of the machine. So please keep an eye on your walking belt alignment. As you're walking, uh, you can see this machine right here, if we can look at this machine close in, has an equal distance of this, this black phenolic area between the, the straddle covers and the edge of the belt on both sides. And it's, it's straight. The belt is not tracking at an angle. Um, you know, you can see sometimes uh, a belt kind of crab walking to where it's not straight. It's moving at an oblique angle. Um, that's not really good either. That's a misadjusted pitch bolt in the front of the treadmill. So <clears throat> generally all these are going to look pretty straight when you get them out of the box. So as long as you haven't messed with the front roller adjustment, you should be able to take care of anything from the rear roller. If your belt simply has fraying on the edge due to, due to age, um, you can straighten that out just by using a lighter. A grill lighter works well and just singeing up this edge, okay? This is good maintenance. Just be, be pretty swift with it. Don't hold it on one spot for too long. Um, we've all done it on, you know, a jacket or a shoelace that's coming undone and singed it up. And it gives a good heat seal because this nylon will, will pull back, singe, and melt, and then it won't unravel anymore. So now the extreme case is when the belt is, comes off track. It might come off track because of a structural problem with the treadmill. It might come off track. And when I mean not mistracked, I mean come off the edge of the roller and the machine will continue to run and then chew up the edge of the belt. The machine might not be on a level ground. The machine might have a bad deck cushion. The machine might have a bad roller. There's lots of reasons that this might happen. Most of the time it's just because the belt gets old and folks don't pay attention to it. These things need to be adjusted. Please pay attention to your belt alignment. Now if that happens to where we need to, uh, you know, actually a lighter, you know, will not take care of, you know, once this belt gets torn up in such a way that it's come off the machine, the way it gets torn up there. You're, you really need to replace the belt, but until you get another belt, you can trim it back with a knife. And the way you want to do that is start the treadmill, get the belt back on track, retrack it. You know, you know how to do this from the tracking instructions. And then what you want to do is generally the belt will be chewed up on the edge, maybe a quarter inch in. And you're going to want to hold your knife back against the direction. I'm going to use the, the, uh, the non-sharp edge and I'm just going to, I would just hold that knife down on here and eventually you're going to end up with a cut all the way through the belt and the little cut piece on this side will be just, it'll come completely off. Okay, so you'll have like a little ribbon. Then you can recenter the belt, cut that off. This is something you want to do at a pretty high rate of speed. Um, get this treadmill going at least five or six miles an hour. If you feel uncomfortable with this, you want to just set that knife down on there. Again, I'm not using the sharp edge. I'm using the, the blunt edge here. And I'm just setting this down. The belt, the belt rotation is pulling against the blade. I'm not fighting it, okay? So I were to come down here and then eventually you're going to cut off this section. If this were torn up, that would cut off. It would be about, say, half an inch thick. Pull it up, cut it off, recenter the belt. Again, this is not a fix. This is a band-aid for you to, for you just to get by and use your treadmill until your new belt gets there from Treadmill Doctor. I would recommend not using a good pocket knife because your blade is eventually going to bottom out on the metal roller, which is not a problem for the roller, but it is a problem for your knife if it's a good knife. So use a 
brand new blade on a box cutter or some utility knife and you won't have any trouble keeping your hands very steady apply even pressure and you'll know that you've got it right when the main belt that little cut piece actually separates and pulls away from the main belt thanks